Now, a story you'll see only on 12 News. Barrington voters set to make a major decision about one of the biggest parcels of land in their town. The recently closed monastery along Narragansett Bay went on the market last month, and officials are hoping the town will be the buyer. 12 News Politics and Business Editor Ted Nisi has the story only on 12. It's not often that acres of oceanfront real estate becomes available in Rhode Island, let alone in Barrington, and town leaders say they see it as an opportunity. For over half a century, cloistered Catholic nuns of the Carmelite order lived and prayed at this seaside location in Barrington, which had once been home to a summer camp. But with their numbers dwindling, the last six nuns moved out last fall. And now the seven-acre site on Watson Avenue has been put up for sale. The price, $3.5 million. Town manager James Cunha says it's the biggest land sale during his time in Barrington. During the five years, we've never had a parcel that big, and certainly not that attractive as the one that's up for sale now. With waterfront views and a quiet setting, Cunha says a private developer might put six or seven expensive beach homes on the land. But he and other officials are hoping the town can acquire it instead and use the property for affordable or senior housing. Barrington voters will have their say on the idea at a town meeting Wednesday. So I would look at small homes, townhouses, that type of thing where we can fit where we can maximize the space appropriately and get, get as many senior living facilities or affordable houses into that plot of land. The property is owned by the Roman Catholic Diocese of Providence. A spokesperson tells 12 News the diocese has received several offers and expects to choose a buyer soon. Proceeds from the sale will help pay for repairing the towers at the Cathedral of Saints Peter and Paul in Providence, as well as Catholic Charities Ministries. Cunha says he's very hopeful the town will beat out other bidders. I'm hoping that the diocese will see that the, the town's uh, development is more, more acceptable to what they'd like to see the, the property used for. One other benefit for Barrington, as a religious property, the former monastery site is currently tax exempt. Cunha says once it's redeveloped, it will go on the tax rolls. I'm Ted Nisi, 12 News.